What's going on guys? Coach Stoneface back again with another hockey card opening video. Today we're going to do the same thing as last time. We're going to open up a uh, mega box of Upper Deck Series 1 as well as a blaster box of MVP. So pretty excited for this. As you can see on the screen right now, don't forget we have the contest going. You know, you want to go to the contest video which will be linked at the end of this video. You want to make sure you, you comment, hashtag contest with your favorite player as well as if you have any you know favorite player or team as, as well as if they have any uh, you know hockey card stories so that's what we're doing for the contest we also need to get 300 views on there we want to make sure you're subscribed we want to make sure you're liking the videos don't forget to do all that but today we're doing the, the boxes here of 1920 upper deck series one uh, mega box as well as our mvp blaster remember our last video here we had some pretty good hits we had the gold script, Artemi Panarin. We had awesome math short print. We had a mirror mirror variation of Johnny Goodrow. We had, for the first time, a Michael Pietro rookie. So, I mean, that's probably the most expensive card there. Might be worth a few bucks, four or five dollars. So, it's not too bad at all. Um, then, in our series one here, we had a Ilya Mikheyev young gun. We had our Cody Glass young gun. Alex Texier young gun couple doesn't matter young guns and then the big one we hit it we hit the home run we got the one that we needed Quinn Hughes so in this one we're looking for a Kale McCarr to, to help run that out but that Quinn Hughes I you know I'm debating whether I want to sell it or not I mean it's one for about a hundred bucks right now Canadian so I guess we'll see if we want to sell that or not but for now let's start off with a quick break here of upper deck mvp 2021 which is we're still going off the ones here i got a christmas from canadian tire you know i don't really think there's too much else we need out of, out of mvp we have one more box after this but i don't expect to see a whole heck of a lot uh we're not gonna go through base so we're pretty much just gonna blast through this as quick as possible for the MVP, we get to the good stuff here. Uh, I did buy some older product on eBay, which I'm excited to come in. I've been doing some breaks. So I got some cool new cards to come in in the next couple weeks to go through. So I'm excited to see all that. But, <clears throat> yeah, I picked up some uh, uh, hobby boxes from Victory from 2010, I want to say. Uh, I have some bids in for some OPG Platinum, which might come in. So, and then obviously I have the, the pre-orders in for, uh, for Upper Deck Series 2 for this year. So hopefully we get something out of those. Open it back to back base packs. Oh my goodness. It's just like the last video where we went through base after base. Now we did get some cool picks in between there. And that's what we're hoping for. All right. Look through this. We have a third star 20th anniversary, Matty Kachuk. I need to figure out. I wish I could show you guys just everything on my setup here. But we don't have the greatest lighting in our house right now. And we're waiting for some new lighting to come in. And once it does, it'll great. Because I have this lamp that's doing a pretty good job. But the glare, Gustav Lindstrom is the glare is just a little much on the videos so hopefully interest i didn't realize that for these it says blasters right on it <clears throat> so you know it's not even a retail box or, or a hobby box it's it's blasters i wish i still had the ones from the the hobby box i had you know what i might I might even pick up another hobby box of this stuff i really do like it all right, we have just a mirror mirror here of Nikita Kucherov. All righty. You know what? I feel this, this one right here. It's going to be something in it. The way I opened it, hopefully not anything valuable because I opened it terribly. Just a Brady Shea silver script. All right. Let's keep hammering this stuff out because we want to move on. To something just a little bit better 
and it's upper deck series one blaster box or mega boxes here and we have a puzzle back we have a Clayton Keller so gold script Clayton Keller I don't think that's a rookie card no man I didn't realize he's played four seasons already wow I thought maybe two but then a Mark Stone puzzle back for Shifley Alrighty. Yeah, I have some some trades going on right now to get some boxes and stuff, so hopefully that starts showing up here soon. What do we have here? We have a, a Jenny Malcolm short a Jenny Malkin short print, Corey Crawford, who has retired. It's gonna be an interesting year for the NHL. I do have um, I've had some fantasy drafts and my teams are are a little weird and, and I mean with players just dropping out left right and center I think it's yeah it's it's crazy I remember looking at the trip when I was doing the fancy drafts and there was like about <clears throat> about uh, Jersey with Crawford there and now you know all of a sudden he he all of a sudden was he took a step away from the team and then it came out that he uh, he called her quits so I mean he had a pretty good career there what he did in Chicago And just another base pack. We are riddled with base packs during this blaster. I'm really excited to get the Series 1 here. I know it's only, what, 10 packs, 9 plus Shea Theodore Silver Script. Um, I'm really excited to get to the blast pack. I mean, we want to get that Makar pretty badly. Obviously, I'm not going to say no to another Jack Hughes. But we want to, or sorry, Quinn Hughes. Uh, but we definitely want to start getting some big names here as we do these boxes, which will allow us to Patrick Kane short print. So we're filling up our short prints, which is nice. <clears throat> um, but you know, the more valuable cards we get here, the more valuable packs I can get. So, you know, I mean, we went from MVP and 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 what we had some OPG MVP and and uh, I don't even know what the other one was looking over at my my show oh, the parkhurst so i did actually sold a couple cards from parkhurst but definitely not for for a lot and we have a matthew barzell third star all righty what do we have here about seven more packs seven or eight just hammering through this stuff Seeing what else we can get for rookies. I think D. Pietro would be the best rookie in this class. And Malkin or a Vetchkin checklist, but Panarin puzzle back. Just want to make sure what number this is. 200. So that's not quite the short prints yet. I'm a little sad this is my last mega box for 1920 but i mean when it went on sale for, for 20 27 dollars at at walmart you couldn't really pass it up but you can only get so many and we have a net crasher of elias peterson peterson pd all right nice card ben bishop freddie anderson I just like in, in fantasy football, I build my team running backs out and in fantasy hockey I, I start with goaltending and um, especially in this league that I'm in it's it's really goaltending positive and negative points. So you want to make sure you get good goaltending core. And uh, it was tough. It was tough to know exactly who to go with. Brandon Hagel, rookie. Um, if you want you know, you everybody's you know, Freddie Anderson, like in the Canadian division obviously the Leafs defense got a bit better, but it's a great uh, Vasilevsky, you know, is Tampa going to take a, a step back after that long playoff run? Same as Dallas. Are they going to take a step back, you know, after being in the playoff, Santa Cup final, and then a very, very short turnaround? So it, it's been it's been a weird year for, for fantasy fantasy hockey, just like it was a weird year for fantasy football. I mean, I, at the time of recording this, Dallas has, has seven, I think, positive cases of, of COVID or COVID in close contact, so... Oh my goodness, this was, this might be our worst blasters yet. 
just in terms of, of the quality that we're getting. I mean, we had a couple couple short prints, but we're, I think, almost want to say like 50% in, in terms of hits and no hits. At least it feels like it. Trace Janssen, Silver Script. All right, last two packs here before we get into the good stuff. I'm excited for the, the hobby boxes of, of this year's, you know, tw um, series two. Great Holpe, we have another Gabe Velarde rookie. Sergey Bobrovsky, Tom Wilson. All right, and the last pack of MVP here. We have nothing. Okay. So in terms of hits, that was probably the worst box we've had. We don't don't see a lot. We got a rookie, silver script, rookie, ice crashers, puzzle back, third star, short print, silver script, short print, puzzle back, gold script, silver script. Mirror Mirror Rookie Anniversary. So there we have it. Get rid of these. I want to know how close I am besides the, the short prints. I want to know how close I am to uh, finishing my set. But the reason we're all here today. This wonderful wonderful box if we just look closely again you can see some of the odds there uh, young guns one and four so realistically we should get two uh, canvases portraits so it's all there these portraits are much better than than 2021's hopefully series two looks a little bit better I don't can't remember if series two and series ones all look the same this year all right let's see what we get here I think we had last time we got the same pack we got time before and Ryan Pauling so we might again no we got Max Jones Carl Grunstrom and Ryan Pauling so there we go making a dent into that set all right, let's take a quick look at these, see if there's anything that sticks out to us. Nope, they all look pretty much the same. I don't see a whole heck of a lot that's different. Probably means no jerseys, which is okay. All right. Let's see what we have here today. And... I remember saying it last time. I like that uh, strong St. Pat's jerseys. All right. Case for package one, nothing. Let's see if we get here in pack two. Anything good? I see something. I don't, maybe it's just a discoloration. Nope. Dominic Kubalik. So if we're talking about rookie cards, that's outside the big two in Quinn Hughes and Kale McCarr. This one would be it, Dominic Kubalik, your uh, you know goal scoring rookie of the year last year. So that's pretty exciting. Not sure the value on that. I know it's not anywhere near what Quinn is, but I think it still goes for for twenty or so, which is exciting. There's our first young gun. We got a portraits in this one. So I doubt it's gonna be anything else. Ryan McDonough portraits. There we go. Actually, before I forget here, just bear with me. There 
There we go, Dominic Kubalik. All right. Not a bad start to the pack. I mean, I don't get much more, but. All right. Another portraits, Clayton Keller, who is well into his career now. Just like MVP, I was saying they have the blasters. So these ones obviously have nothing on it. I don't know, something weird feels about this pack. Maybe there's something in here. Those instincts, maybe. I'm trying to go slow just to make sure I don't miss anything, but it looks like I was wrong. And we are 100% a base pack. That is the case. All right. I'm still mad at Mastermind Games the fact I wasn't able to get the tins of this of this product. So we have in this one another base pack. So far we have three hits, two portraits, and a young guns. Now that young guns is pretty good, but you would expect a bit more through five packs. I guess that's only two base packs. Just feels like so much more. All right. Checklist for series one, interesting. And another Cody Glass. That's not too bad either. I do have a Cody Glass on, on eBay right now. Um, you know, I've seen some people asking twenty something dollars for it, but I think I have mine posted for for twelve. But still, if you can get twelve dollars for for a young gun out of a twenty five dollar case, you'll take that all day. Now, keep in mind these blaster boxes are regular fifty fifty five, so you get them for half price. It does help. Now, I'm not expecting any other hits. I don't think we'll get, or at least any other young guns. And UD Canvas here of Captain Bo. Captain Bo. All right. So I think maybe between my two young guns, between Kubalik and, and Cody Glass, I think that's probably going to pay for, for this box at least. And felt like something was sticking not the case <clears throat> well let's hope we get spoiled here and get something good in this last pack but I'm not holding my breath let's see what we get Danny DeKaiser Matthias Ekholm Mark Stahl and it's another canvas of Colin White alrighty Man, that's a wild story too. That the the banks suing Evander Kane and the San Jose Sharks over that that loan. That's insane. So our canvas card. I do like the canvas cards. They're nice. All right. Well, there we have it. We had out of that blaster box canvas, canvas, Cody Glass young gun, and Dominic Kubalik young gun. And then two UD portraits, one of McDonough, one of Clayton Keller. So I appreciate it very much, guys. If we remind her what's going to appear on the screen here. You know, we're we're doing that contest. Make sure you go, you like it, you're going to comment on it. Share with everybody you know because we need to get to those platforms or to those uh, benchmarks to be able to give away that free stuff. So I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for stopping by, and I will see you guys in the next one.